Alright guys, welcome back to another Opera Omnia video where we have the actual translations. A big shout out to Medic uh, for the translations for this video for the OPOP -OP burst that released not too long ago. And uh, yeah, I know my attempt at translating the uh, the slides and whatnot uh, were not entirely... I, I, I was close on some things, but there was a few things that I was off on the uh, on my Simply translations. But you know, that's why they are called simply because it's simply bad um no uh to, uh, to be to be fair like I, I wanted to try to get uh, you know somewhat of a basic idea to kind of see instead of just like looking at pictures at weapons and whatnot like i actually wanted to like attempt to see if i can get somewhat of an understanding uh as to what uh the effect of said weapon does so uh but but yeah let's 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 let's, let's just go ahead and stick to the translations i may continue doing that just for shits and giggles uh for future opop -OP bursts so but we'll see so all right so let's go ahead and get started, and again, a big thank you to uh, Medic for the translation. So Shantoro's event, uh, which is going to be her intersecting wheels, uh, she's going to be getting her FR weapon, Ursula is going to be getting her BT weapon, and both characters are going to be receiving their FR boards and a rework, which is very exciting. So when it comes to Shantoro's uh, FR ability, her partner is going to be Ultimicia, and yes, uh, you guys did confirm to me that uh, the whole uh, roasting session that they both had was actually from Dissidia and T. So I actually watched that video because it was clipped in, in my Discord server, which if you don't know, I do have a server if you want to join. Uh, link in it is in the description. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was actually uh, a nice little laugh to uh, look at that cutscene again. Uh, but yeah, so her partner being Ultimicia, it's a dark magic AoE Bray plus an HP attack and it does inflict the Ruins Curse debuff to all enemies, which it is Shantoro's uh, uh, LD debuff, which is nice. So I am curious to know if it's going to be like a one turn, two turn, two turn, or maybe even longer. I guess we'll find out uh, once these showcases start dropping tomorrow. Uh, when it comes to her FR abilities, so whenever the turn passes with a character selecting an elemental attack command, so I was correct on that one. Uh, so yeah, any I, I'm assuming any uh, any element will work uh, for achieving uh, this first condition, and then for uh, Shantaro, she gets a higher increase in the HP damage bonus. Uh, the second one is whenever a turn passes with a character selecting an attack command against an enemy inflicted with a de debuff that includes unable to act effects. So, uh, n so yeah, so I was halfway correct on that one. So uh, in my video, in my in my simply translations video, uh, I said that it has to be an unable to act debuff, but at the same time, that also has like some elements of weakness. I was incorrect on that. Uh, I was only correct on half of it so that's good so that at least we know that like you know if we like we don't have to only rely on Shantoro's like debuff like we can use call abilities we can use other characters uh that have that effect like let's say uh Fusoya would actually be pretty good on that because like one he has elements on attached to uh to his kit he does have the ability to uh, inflict paralysis and extend that paralysis debuff as well with uh, i think one or two of his skills so uh yeah he he would actually be a pretty good pairing uh with uh, shantoro uh with our fr and whatnot uh the other thing about shantoro's uh, fr is going to be that whenever you are dealing with elemental weakness damage uh you do get an increase in hp damage uh hp damage up any hp damage cap up so i was you know i was kind of right on that Kind of so you know i mean hey simply translations this is in the works okay um ursula's bt weapon heavily fist uh, her bt ability pedal whirlwind it's a melee aoe bray plus an hp attack the bt effect for the party after every hp attack current brave becomes max brave immediately when i think about that i'm like is this like the brave version of uh, Kinyas, Queenas, how the hell you say uh, uh, its name, uh, her name, excuse me. Um, is this like the brave version of, uh, of Kinyas uh, uh, BT effect where like it doesn't matter if you have zero brave damage as long as you have 10 stacks on her, uh, on her uh, fo fog overhead. Uh, you are pretty much going to be capping. Oh, excuse me. As long as you have the 10 stacks on the fog overhead and the BT uh, effect is active, uh, regardless of whatever brave you have, you are going to be hitting for the highest amount of uh, HP damage cap that said character can do. So, like, this to me, like, it's kind of like a Kenya effect, but, like, it's, like, more so on the brave 
brave side where um you know you you're gonna have uh like ca you're pretty much gonna be capped out on brave and especially with ursula being able to grant brave to the uh to the party like that's not gonna be an issue at all everybody is pretty much gonna be capped the only thing that i am slightly concerned about is how long this bt effect is going to last because remember uh ursula within her kit uh she does jump in the turn order and i believe it is after the enemy acts uh, so long as there is a debuff on the a specific debuff on the enemy or if it's a buff that she has in, in uh, within her kit it's one of those two um so like with her being able to jump in the turn order i'm curious to see how long that bt effect is going to last because if it is going to be short then it's not going to be a bt effect that's going to be really all that so i'm kind of hoping that it at the minimum it would be uh a, an eight turn bt effect if it's anything higher than that fantastic but if it is short uh, i don't know it's I'm, I'm gonna be a little iffy on that beat uh, at least on this specific portion of the bt effect uh the, the rest of the stuff max brave up brave damage up and an hp damage cap up uh for the uh for the party so and uh, and the first one does affect for, uh the party as well so again uh, i'm gonna have to wait to see how long that bt effect is going to lag because if it's anything under than under than eight um, i may have to play uh, ursula a little bit differently uh since i will probably token her a bt because i do believe i have enough tokens for it uh next up is going to be uh yuffie uh, with the upcoming 6 Warrior Quest Area 6. So Yuffie is going to be getting uh, her FR, FR boards, BT, and a rework. So uh, Yuffie's uh, FR weapon, Rising Sun. FR ability, Thunderclap and Furious Winds with Sync as her partner. So she steals a random buff from the target. She extends said stolen buff. It's a ranged AoE Bray plus an HP attack. It inflicts the physical attack down, magic attack down, turn rate down, poison, initial brave down, max brave down, attack down and defense down to our target. Now, when it comes to the conditions, whenever a turn passes with a character breaking a target or attacking a broken target, increases the uh, the HP damage bonus, so I was right on that one. Whenever a turn passes with a character selecting an attack command against a debuffed enemy, depending on the number of debuffs, which is excellent. So we don't have to uh, consistently inflict uh, debuffs uh, with every other... Uh, with every other character other than Yuffie, which is great. So, uh, yeah, like, call abilities and whatnot, like, in case, like, let's say, uh, I don't know, the enemies decide they want to cleanse or something like that. I, I do wonder uh, if uh, gold debuffs uh, would actually uh, count. I mean, it is technically a debuff, so I would assume so. Uh, so, uh, I wonder if that would actually uh, help out so that way, in, in case uh, the enemy wants to, you know, be all cleanse happy, uh, the, uh, the gold debuffs can at least be on there in case uh, her FR is uh, active and whatnot. So, uh, but yeah, that, that's great. Uh, the, the number of debuffs on the enemy uh, is fantastic. Uh, her BT weapon, uh, Conformer, with her BT ability, All Creation. Oh, yes! All right, I can't wait to see it. Uh, so it's a range AOE Brave plus an HP attack. The BT effect to herself, her HP attack command changes to Landscaper, which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's the one where like she straight up just like punched the ground, and um, and she sends like a like a like a like a blast wave of some sort uh, t uh, towards the enemies. Uh, the durations of debuffs inflicted by self do not go down. Okay, okay. Okay, I can, I can I can rock with that. I can definitely rock with that. Uh, the only thing is that like if I do want to have like let's say like a specific debuff from a call ability, then I gotta make sure that I inflict uh, those first. But thankfully though, uh, Yuffie's uh, debuffs uh, are not framed, so you know regardless if I do it before or after, like it should, I, I'm still gonna get what I what I am wanting to get. Uh, the party, uh, brave damage cap up depending on the number of debuffs inflicted, and HP damage cap up depending on the number of debuffs inflicted. Now, Landscaper uh, is a powerful range AOE brave plus an HP attack. So uh, yeah, so well, you know, I was I was fifty fifty, maybe at most, maybe like 40 40 percent right, sixty percent wrong. So uh, when it comes to the uh, the simply translations, um, so uh, <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, very interesting. Can't can't wait to see the uh, showcases for uh, Shantora and Ursula. They should be dropping uh, tomorrow morning and or uh, tomorrow night as I am recording this video. So expect to see a reaction video at some point, super duper early in the morning, and, or if not, uh, at the uh, at the end of the day tomorrow. So, uh, but yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the 
comment section below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.